Could you do a follow-up test of the 7900 XTX, but with an AIB model plus undervolted slash overclocked and do another value comparison? There's no no really good video uh, of that out yet. And I would think that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, it would be to a degree. You'd sort of want to do the same thing with like an RTX 4080, I suppose, to get sort of an apples to apples overclock comparison. But then it's an apples to apples comparison of a sample size of one. So if you get a particularly good Radeon card and then a really bad GeForce card, it's probably a bit skewed. But from the testing I've done and the testing I've seen from trusted overclockers, it looks like you're getting generally like 8% more performance, 10% more performance out of a 7900 XTX. So the AIB cards really aren't that much better. And you can probably squeeze close to that out of the reference card anyway. Not that I've tried, but regardless, the AIB cards look like they have, let's say 10% overclocking headroom, which is generally what you get out of pretty much any graphics card. So people are acting like, you know, they're, they're overclocking to the tune of 20%, like a 980 Ti or something. But mm, I don't think that's the case at all. There may be a rare scenario where, I'm not, actually, I'm not even sure that's, the case at all. I'll just leave it at that because I have not seen it, but I've seen some people showing gains that high, but I've not been able to replicate them. I think maybe that was, um, I don't know. Maybe not sure. one specific game or maybe, or there was just an issue stable. with the testing. I'm not sure. Not sure on that one, but yeah. Yeah. The, from the, from the guys I'd over, I, I'd trust to do the overclocking. They're showing like eight to 10% performance uplift. And, and this comes up every GPU it does. launch. It Remember, come, every, every single GPU launch, it's always, how does you know? How does overclocking go? How does undervolting go? Yeah. Can I make this card overclock it and get up to the next tier of performance? It's worse and for it's Radeon a, GPUs yeah, all it, the time. It's always like if you could overclock one card to reach the next card, then you could just overclock that next tier up card and get even mm. more performance. And then again, if if twenty percent overclocks or even fifteen percent overclocks were possible regularly with these models. Hey, these days, yeah, yeah, they would be shipping that. Hey, it's as you say, it's the same story. I remember when Vega fifty six and sixty four came out, and I my reviews weren't particularly positive. Then people came out and R slash AMD said you can undervolt it, you get twenty percent more performance. Looked into it, not the case. There was a lot of backlash our way for that <laughs> content, and then months went by, and sure enough, more and more people bought them. And it's like you could improve performance a little bit, but you can do that with any GPU. There was no miracle cure for Vega. Um, yeah, the, the days of massive overclocking slash undervolting, which is effectively mm -hmm. overclocking, mm -hmm. delivering these super impressive gains is just... Companies don't want to leave performance on the table, so they yeah. don't. I think people I think people are looking at the frequencies at which they're hitting for whatever period of time and extrapolating that that's the gain they're going to get. But then when you actually do the gaming benchmarks, it's, it's just... Yeah. It's, it's 8%. So... I'll, I'll definitely look into it and make sure that's the case. We haven't done any content on that yet. Uh, it's definitely in the works. And I've done, as I said, some preliminary testing. But I don't think these AIB cards are going to change uh, what we have to say about the 700 XTX. I think it's just yep. typical partner cards.